this session, we will talk about the real time curve. Uh, first, we will um, input uh, the curve uh, that image. And then we will click the real time curves button and uh, select the area we would like to put the curve in. On the right hand side, uh, we have the y central. Uh, the y central is the center point uh, of uh, the, the y, is uh, 288. So VD central, what does this mean, uh, VD central? VD central, for example, you like to have the date from 0 to 1,000 uh, in, the, in the middle of the, of the data you will have a uh, 500. It is a big, basically, it is the smallest number plus biggest number and uh, divided by two. And um, what is the mal y? Actually, uh, more why we can use a formula, <coughs> excuse me, to calculate for that. So more y equals uh, y e minus y s, and uh, divided by 256, and uh, also divided by v max minus uh, v minimum. Uh, so V and V S are the y coordinates of the curve. Um, it is a, it is a coordinate, and, and uh, V max and a V minimum. It's the max and a minimum value of the curve. You know, from here we can uh, calculate with this formula. We can calculate the uh, the data of the mal y. We give an example. Uh, if uh, there is a uh, 12 bit AD collected data, V max is a 4095, V minimum is a zero, need to be displayed in the full scale, uh, in the screen area of the YS equals 50 and YE equals um, uh, 430. Then we use uh, this formula and we can ca uh, calculate the mal Y is uh, 23.7, then we can run down to 23, okay. And uh, the uh, data source channel, actually we have uh, eight uh, channel uh, for the curves. So we can choose uh, any one of that. Here we choose three, and also the space for the access X, so it is uh, can be uh, selected from any data. You can choose a one. Uh, normally, we just choose a one, five, ten, twenty. You know, with this uh, kind of uh, data. So in that case, uh, we can uh, set up uh, the real time curve. Yeah, that's uh, that's a process of the setting up. <coughs> 